loves and welcome to my channel today's video we are going to be doing a disney series slash valentine's day um series so we're definitely continuing on with the disney but i also wanted to include um the valentine's day theme which i'm super super excited about i have like this entire list of videos i want to do um on or before valentine's day comes up and i just have like the cutest ideas i hope i can really execute them but after making this video i mean i was like super hyped because they came out so cute it's definitely something a little bit different than what i usually do here on my channel because the design isn't something that i do too often but i definitely wanted to make like you know make it a point to do different designs use different colors or whatever the case may be but just mixing it up and not like doing the exact same video all the time um and so yeah these nails came out super super cute today's disney movie is 101 dalmatians which is such an amazing movie um it came out like a year before i was born but i would watch it so much when i was little um, I had it like in VHS and it was just like on replay all the time, all of the movies. So um, I was super excited to do this one first and I decided to do like a light color as the base and I'm using Sexy Hand by Not Polish, which is like I said, a very light color. Um, it's almost like a milky white, but it kind of looks a little pink as well. And it has so many little glitters, like little specks of glitters in it, that every time that you apply it, there's going to be glitter all over. And it's such a beautiful color. So I wanted to just put that on all of the nails. And of course, I'm keeping the acrylic application in real time for you so you guys can see my application. Um, I'm using the Kiara Sky Monomer along with the not polished acrylic brush and my nail tips from my website crafts by nine um, they are the 3xl square no c curve tips and to glue them down i am using the kiara sky nail glue and yeah that's basically it for right now um, i'm just doing the acrylic application i really wanted to focus on the nail art mostly because like I wanted to have like little dog prints um, and things like that. So like that's really what I wanted to focus on. That is kind of why I just decided to do one solid color as the base. I didn't want it to be too much. And I thought they came out perfect. So I can't wait for you guys to see. And in case y'all didn't know, on my website, Crafts by Nine, we do have a deal of the week every single week um, and it varies from like free shipping to um, like 50% off products or 30% off site-wide sale um, and this week this particular week we are having 50% off all our glitter acrylics which is an amazing sale because I think that each glitter acrylic comes out to like six dollars like what which is really, really a good, good deal. So take advantage of it. All you have to do is go on our website, go on our glitter acrylics, add whichever ones you want or all of them to your car and the discount is automatically applied at checkout. So you don't have to apply any discounts to it. Now, of course, if you want to order different things, um, then you can just use my discount code Myra10 at checkout or one of our brand ambassadors discounts as well which gives you 10 percent off of your order and all of our brand ambassadors codes are on my instagram at crafts by nine so you guys can go ahead and check them out down or over there and yeah if you guys want to stay updated with our deal of the week i am since i am uploading a little bit more here on my youtube channel i am definitely going to be announcing it all the time like what our deal of the week is that in particular week but since it is only for a week and I might not upload like right when it starts, I definitely recommend you guys subscribing to our emailing list. All you have to do is put your email down 
on our website and it'll just send you our flyers which we make um and they get sent out a lot so you guys like know what deals are there and then directly from the email you can click on the flyer and it'll take you to the direct um website the direct page um or the direct products which are on sale and so it's something super super easy and fast so that way you don't rely on me uploading asap when the deal goes on because i might not um you know i always say like i'm gonna upload so much and i do have all these ideas in mind and stuff but sometimes like i don't know like it just takes forever on the voiceovers and then i just forget to upload or not forget to upload but i literally do not upload because my videos aren't finished like now i make it a point to do my voiceovers as like fast as i can so that way i can literally upload it to youtube the very next day and that's kind of what i've been doing and i want to keep it up like that but sometimes i'm like like i don't really have time to do the voiceovers and then so i'm just too busy recording another video like the next video and then they all get like piled up and then i have a bunch of videos done and edited but i don't have voiceovers so that is kind of why it takes me a while to upload sometimes and i apologize for that but i am trying to upload like two three or four times a week which i love doing i absolutely love doing but with like all the packaging of orders with work with everything else like it does get a little stressful sometimes but i love doing it so i'm definitely going to make it a point to like record voiceover record voiceover record voiceover so it doesn't get piled up into like 10 videos and no voiceover um another thing to you guys a lot of my how-to videos or my watch me work videos i'm gonna have them up with no voiceovers i do see like a lot of videos that um it's kind of like just music in the background like a lot of videos that i watch of nail techs doing nails it's just no voiceover and then the music in the background and it's like really like peaceful it's really satisfying to just watch them work and so my videos my watch me work videos some of them are um gonna be without voiceovers as well so i'm just super super excited that i'm gonna be uploading more consistently and i'm really saying it just to put myself and hold myself accountable because i really want to like that is my end goal to upload as much as i can here on youtube not only for you guys to see my work and me share different um maybe like trends or different designs but so that it can help you guys too like my how-to videos and things like that so if you are new here and you're a new subscriber we have a lot of new subscribers here and i just want to say i appreciate you thank you so much for being here i will be uploading a lot more and i can't wait to show you guys all of my valentine's day nails that i have in mind because i want to like say them already but i definitely want to put out the video first and then say it because i don't want to say it and then not do it so um yeah i'm gonna upload as much as i can and i just want to thank you guys so much for subscribing don't forget to turn on my post notifications to get notified every time i post a new video and we are just about done with the acrylic application so this acrylic um as most of not polishes acrylics are from their two-in-one powder collection which means that you can use it not only as acrylic but as dip powder as well as you know i don't do dip powder so i only use it as acrylic but their two-in-one powders are just some of the best because you're able to do both you're not able to tell that it's just dip or dip powder because some of them have a different consistency when they're two-in-one but the not polished ones are just the best so now i'm going in with my crafts by nine liner brush number three now instead of doing my usual french tip design that i i've been loving doing and i of course love the outcome of it i wanted to do something different so i decided to do a v cut design which basically goes from one side of the nail to the middle and it like on each side and it meets and so it looks like a v a deep v cut um nail design and i thought these looked so adorable and what i decided to do with the design as well after i filled it in was to actually kind of divide the design in half 
where the V, like on one side of the V, do one kind of design and on the other side do the other. I am using my Crafts by Nine white gel polish and black gel polish. But for the V cut, I'm just doing the white. And then I'm making sure to like not get any outside of the V because I don't want to mess it up. I'm trying to do it as like perfect as I can without needing to um, remove anything. So then after this, I cure it in the lamp for 60 seconds. Make sure that it is cured because now I'm going to go in with a different color, which is going to be the black. And you, of course, want it to be cured. Um, but I am going to go over for with the V cut first on all of the nails. So this is something that is can save you a lot of time when doing nails. Even if you know that you're going to be doing white and black gel polish, um, instead of doing each nail individually, yeah, you can cu flash cure it in between each nail so it doesn't get messed up, so you don't accidentally bump into anything. But I would just say move on to the next nail, and the next nail, and so forth. So do the design on all of the nails that you just did on the first nail before curing and before going in with another color. Um, so like for the example, this white V cut, go in with that white V cut on all of the nails first, even if you're flash curing in between each nail. So that way you can just be completely done with that white, unless you, of course you're gonna use it again later, but that way so you can be completely done with that white and then you cure it for 60 seconds under the lamp and then you'll be done with the white and then you'll just go in with the other color. So that really does save you time because otherwise you would have to do like white on one nail and then wipe off your brush and then dip into the black and then do that design and then you're going to have to do that on all the nails. That'll just take up a lot more time than just doing one color, finishing it up, curing it then going in with the next design and the next color. I hope that makes sense, but it saves you so much time when doing nails, especially when you have clients. You obviously want to get them not out of your chair as fast as possible, but like, you know, the less time you take, the way better because you get to take more clients and so on and so forth. So I did leave the ring finger without the V cut because I'm going to be doing a different design. And this is what I mean when I'm doing half and half. So on one side of the V, I'm just doing like polka dots for like Dalmatian design. I accidentally grabbed white gel polish here, but um, I just cleaned it off and we moved on. And so I'm doing the like Dalmatian design kind of just dots all over on one side. And I'm doing that on all of the nails that have the white V cut. And I'm just using my dotting tool from my website, Crafts by Nine. And I just use a smaller side. And then on the other side of the V cut, I'm actually drawing hearts and I'm doing about two to three on each nail. And I kind of wanted to test it out first. So I did two dots with the dotting tool and then I just connected it with my liner brush and I thought it turned out perfect. So I really, really am obsessed with this design because it has like a V cut, the hearts, the polka dots, and I thought it came out so, so cute. So on this nail, I did the two dots and then connected them on each but then on the rest i believe i just did it all together like i did the two dots two dots two dots and then connected them all at the same time so that way i saved time like i was mentioning and i didn't have to pick it up put it down grab another tool do it again so it just those little things really do save you time um once you start to realize that you're changing things up just kind of um like a little shortcut for the same result it really makes a huge difference so look at how cute that design looks you guys i wanted to do it differently on the other nails but of course doing the hearts um but placing them in different places so it just like i didn't want like a one cohesive look i wanted it to look different but still the same pattern so this is what i mean i did the six or two four yeah six dots and then i connected it with the liner brush at one point i started like shaking i don't know why like every time i do nail art i get like su not nervous but like my hands start shaking and i'm like you weren't shaking two minutes ago when i started can you not <laughs> but um yeah i just i'm connecting the dots now and making them into like a nice little heart and i think these came out so so adorable like i love everything about it and then once you i put on the top coat 
it's gonna bring all of it together because right now the acrylic is obviously like mattified so you can't really see honestly you can see all the specks of glitter but once you put that glossy top coat i mean it just brings it all together and the color is so beautiful even if i left it matte i feel like it would look really really cute too but i definitely wanted to showcase the glitter acrylic um because i knew that it was just going to turn out so beautiful and i haven't used it that often before which i definitely should but like when i saw it i didn't even realize how much glitters were like how many glitters were in the color it really is such a stunning stunning color so now i am done with the hearts and this is what it looks like and then for the ring finger i'm gonna draw a paw print with like hearts wait no not hearts i don't think i did oh yeah i did hearts i did like a giant heart in the middle so i used the bigger side of the dotting tool and then i'm connecting it with the liner brush um kind of like i was doing with the other nails but this one's definitely bigger and i just did it like in the middle of the nail and this part is so satisfying to me our gel polishes are so so pigmented you only need one coat like i didn't do no two coats on any of the nails and i never do with these colors they're just super um pigmented and i love love them and then i'm drawing the paw print now um and then i'm sorry that it wasn't focusing too much but you get the hint like i'm just grabbing my dotting tool and then i'm just drawing like a line down like a thick line and i'm drawing the print of the paw print and i just thought these nails are adorable so adorable i was thinking of doing a second paw print but i was like nah this is kind of more towards the middle so i'll just leave it like that and i just thought one was enough and it just really brought the whole nail concept together and i just love them oh my god they're so cute so now i'm going in with my crafts by nine no wipe gel top coat to just really bring this all together i mean look at that acrylic i just love it so i'm going in with that top coat on all of the nails before curing it and i'm curing it under the lamp for 60 seconds because we are officially done with the nail set so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i hope you guys learned something new and if you guys are new here welcome to my channel thank you guys so much for being here um do not forget to comment down below what disney series you would like to see me do this one was the 101 dalmatians um nail set the disney valentine's day series and i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you guys so much for being here and i'll see you in the next one bye guys